The business owners claim South Fulton police officers don't know the law when it comes to what hemp products are legal in Georgia. Hello everyone, I'm Linda Stouffer, in for Karen Greer. And I'm George Estevez, so here's more of that raid that was caught on camera. Don't come out, come to the door. The owners say police unlawfully arrested them when they raided the air freshener depot on Campbellton Road. And they say what police used to test the products is not accurate. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez, live now in the city of South Fulton, where a hearing Taisha wrapped up 90 minutes ago. And George, police raided that vape store two months ago. And ever since then, the attorneys for the store owners say the whole process, everything done was just done in the wrong order. And even though they finally had a hearing they've been waiting on today, they don't know if their client will get a fair decision. Police with search warrant! This surveillance video shows South Fulton police raiding a vape store on Campbellton Road back on May 1st. Police arrested the owner and the workers. Was it scary? It was. Still. Still in the trauma right now. Yeah, it's still affecting you all. Oh, yeah. Police say workers sold an undercover officer illegal marijuana twice. Investigators say GBI results haven't come back yet, but they used a different method to test the drugs, and the city quickly revoked their business license before the owner had a chance to defend himself. Even if everything in the store was illegal, they're, they're still entitled to due process, and due process requires a hearing and notice of that hearing and that did not happen in this case during this hearing thursday afternoon attorneys for the store owner presented evidence like their own test results from an independent lab that say the products are legal under georgia law they showed photos of other vape shops selling the same products they showed how one store is right across the street from a police precinct city attorney vincent hyman stood firm and said at the end of the hearing the store still broke the law the city manager will render a decision in 10 days. But I think it's noticeable that we're in a conference room with the city manager who works in the same building as the city attorney, who works in the same building as the finance director who revoked the license. So, you know, it, it, it raises questions about whether this is a fair tribunal. Now, the owner and workers are all facing uh, criminal charges, trafficking charges from this raid, and the attorneys believe that whatever the city manager decides in 10 days will impact the criminal cases. We're live in the city of South Fulton. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News. We will see what happens in 10 days. Taisha, thank you.